Hey, welcome back to Wiz Learning. What are we doing today? We are learning about welding. Now, um, I a lot of people have asked me about welding because uh, about two years ago, I decided I was going to take up welding. My, uh, I built an altar table out of a big slab of black walnut. It was eight feet long by, I don't know, 24 inches across, about three inch thick slab. And then my brother-in-law helped me build out of steel the base for it for my daughter's um, wedding. And he did 95, 98% of the welding, but I was like, I was hooked. So he had a little arc welder out of his dad's shop, so I got a Lincoln arc welder, and it's a stick welder. And I learned how to weld, just kind of watched some videos on YouTube and taught, taught myself how to weld. Now, a lot of people are gonna come at me and say, oh, you shouldn't be going on telling people how to weld, but I'm doing this to encourage you that even if you don't think you'll be an expert on it, not to be afraid to try because I'm so happy that I learned how to do it. I built, uh, I'll post some pictures. I've done, uh, built some little uh, bases for tables. I built an outdoor table. Uh, our brother-in-law and I just came over. He built this cross. I made a bunch of these little crosses um, that I've sold on Etsy. They're just fun little projects, but fix my friend's mowers, just kind of whatever. But welding is pretty simple to do. You're gonna need, it's gonna be kind of expensive. I bought this welder for about $150 used. I had to get 220 Rand, you can get wire fee. This, this video is just on stick welding and arc welding. You can get one that runs on 110. This runs on uh, 220 and then you adjust the amperage. But I'm just gonna go real quick how arc welding works is you've got two things. This is a steel table. And so you turn it on, you plug this in, it's got a little connector in here. It's got a little wire in it. And when that goes to it, it starts the current going on one side. And then this is the other side, it's gonna connect the circuit. So you've got these little sticks, these electrodes, these rods, and they've got flux on the outside and they've got steel on the middle. And what when you do is when you connect this to anything like this cross that's on the table, it you start it and then you hold it just a little bit off, just barely off, and that creates an arc. That's why it's called arc welding. And that heat from that arc, from the electricity running through it, melts this flux and it heats up the steel and actually turns it so you can attach steel to steel. You're basically changing the material here. You're making it soft enough where the other steel will stick to it. And it's really simple. You can get steel in practice. Even if you're a terrible uh, welder like me, you get a, a grinder and you can grind it and make it look smooth like this. So you can take, you literally can take these welds and you can grind them down and make them smooth so they look they look like they're flush. These were practices when I very first started, but you can just practice on different things. But it is limitless what you can weld um, metal to metal. Um, so it's kind of fun, steel to steel. But I'm gonna show you how to do it, just the real simple, straightforward, how it's done and kind of what you need to do. Like I said, the rest of it is just practice. All right, so when you're, when you're trying to get it going, Put a new rod in. What you're trying to do is, I've made a chalk line here so you can see with a piece of chalk, so you can see kind of where the seam is gonna be. But what you're wanting to do when you, when you strike the arc is it, say it's like striking a match. And what you wanna do is you wanna get it to where you just kind of touch the end of your electrode or your rod so that it forms that arc. And then you literally want to keep it just about half of a finger off there at a 45 degree angle. So if I'm coming this way, then this would be about a 45 degree angle. And you're just going to drag this back to where you want to go. So if this is the seam on your, you would arc it and then you would simply drag it at a 45 degree angle, really slow to the end. And when you get here, then you come back just a little bit to, to fill in this gap here. And what you're doing is, so when you, as you're coming this way, I'm gonna arc it 
And as I come this way, I create a pool. So if you envision this is kind of the hot melted flux and steel, as I drag it, this pool will follow behind the stick. It just kind of follows it this way. And as it goes, the farther it gets away from where you were, there's less heat. And so that heat, then it solidifies. And depending on what your amps are on your welder and how slow you go and what angle, um, kind of how well your pool is, depends on how deep you penetrate into these. Now, these are pretty thick steel plates, so you're gonna have to go fairly slow, but that's how you control how big of a bead you get and how um, deep it penetrates. And that just comes with, with practice and, and experience. But like I said, most of the time, you're on 70 to 90 amps and you're gonna you know, arc it and then you're gonna drag it about that same speed and you're gonna get a decent weld. If it's not, you come back in, you take your slag hammer and you take it off, you brush it down and you re-weld it and then your grinder is your friend. So you come back in and, and grind it down and you can make it smooth. So I'll show you how to do it. This is what it looks like. You always wanna wear a welding helmet because if not, you could uh, go blind. So get a good, invest in a good welding helmet. Uh, the auto adjuster so you can see when it's, you know, like I can look at it now and then as soon as I get an arc and the spark starts going, I'm still able to see my pool and to see my chop line. But you're just going to arc it. And then you're just going to throw it at a 45 degree angle. And like I said, I'm no great welder, but that'll hold. And if I came in, like you can see here, I missed an area, I can simply brush that off and get all the slag off and then just come back in here. Fill in that gap and simply grind it down. Put on my glove, I don't know how hot this thing is. It's, metal gets pretty hot. But you can see there, that's nothing, that's nothing great. That's a crooked line, but it's gonna grind smooth and it's gonna be fine. Um, like I said, the more practice you get with it, the straighter line you've got, and the more consistent your bead's gonna be. All right, so here I've got two pieces. Here's one piece, here's the other one. And I'm simply just gonna weld them. You can weld them this way. You know, you can weld them any way you want. There's all different kinds of magnets and stuff to hold them up. But I'm just gonna show you how to run a straight little line here. I'm up to 90, running 90 amps. Kick on the welder, got my helmet on. <clears throat> I can show you what it kind of looks like coming this way. So I'm gonna arc it. That's it, it's kind of crooked. not straight you can you can kind of use your hand to guide it but like I said um, we'll knock that slag off you can see here where I kind of got off the line so I'll come back and fill that in and then I'll just grind it out but the better practice you get you know, you'll be able to basically arc it and just run that straight down there, make a nice bead, and it'll be nice and smooth. You can see anytime you kind of pause, you'll get kind of like a little lump. But like I said, I'm a, I'm a really good grinder, so I'll, I'll grind all those out. This plate wasn't totally um, butted up against each other. There's a little bit of a gap in there. But that's how you weld.
like I said, it's fun. You can be as creative as you want, have as much fun as you like. As you can see here, that weld is not anything great or straight, but you know what? I'll grind that down, it'll be smooth. Look just like this, pretty much, or look like um, these little crosses here. They had um, welds here in the corners, and as you can see, they're gone. They look like it's one solid piece of, of metal. Here's what a weld looks like on this bigger cross. So anyway, have some fun, get a grinder, get a welder, make some stuff. But thanks for watching. Like I said, uh, doesn't take much to get into welding. You can have some fun. This is a little steel table I made. It's one of my first projects. It's really welded, really kind of crappy, but um, serves a purpose. Um, if, you, if you're not gonna have one of these and you're gonna use something, it does get really hot. So you can actually just put that to the metal and then make your arc off, off of that. Um, you're going to get a, probably a better arc. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.